Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of The Outcasts, where I've done a little bit of AFKing since last episode. I've done, yeah, a, a little bit. We've got plenty of cobblestone. There's no way this isn't enough for just the outline of our mega base. If it isn't, then I'll be very surprised. We also have got our lovely crops that I need to harvest, our wheat, our carrots, and it looks like someone's taking our potatoes. But that's okay, because they've replant, and I put this sign here so they would. We've got our iron farm that's up and running that we have upgraded a little bit just to hold more iron. It looks like they've taken some. Our tree farm, our coal smelter, so everything is going great. And today we are going to start making the outline of our mega base, which when we get it done I will explain to you what exactly it's going to be, which you probably already know what it is because you've seen the thumbnail, but... Before we do that, there's something on top of my base here that Raspberry's put that I need to figure out. Now, Raspberry has set up a treasure hunt for us. That's her real name. I'm not going to say it because, you know, that's not my place to. So, follow the clues to create a word. Once you have the word, message it to Raspberry. So, <clears throat> clue one is under the giant's great message. And do not remove anything from the chests. So... And also we have this post box, but nothing's in here, so I don't know who put this here. So we've got to figure out Giant's Great Message. Now there's two things this could mean. This could mean, well there's three actually. It could mean something under our ball here, because this is like kind of a giant thing. Or it could be under Raspberry's actual base, because I know Raspberry's got like a huge base. And I've looked around here and I can't find anything. So we're going to go head over to Raspberry's mega base that he's started, or she, I, I'm sorry Raspberry, I do not know. That they are started building and we're going to go see if we can find any signs. Okay, here's Raspberry's mega base. So it said, under the giant's great message. There's no message. Maybe this is like, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but is there something under here? Oh, what the heck? Who is that? Do you have a message for me, sir? You are in... Is that fully enchanted chainmail? That is very surprising. Well, you don't really have a message. I guess I just gotta look around until I find a message. Okay, there, there's no message here. I've asked Raspberry where it is because I've looked everywhere and I can't think of anything else. And he said it's by my sign that I made last episode. No, wait. Not last episode. In episode two. So, you know, I guess that makes sense. I guess I'm kind of dumb. So we're going to go back to the sign. Okay, we're at the sign and I can't show you the front because they've replaced it and put something very inappropriate there. So I'm not going to show you the front of the sign, but under the giant's great message. Raspberry, he's literally told me this is where it is. So it's going to be under the sign somewhere. Is it this chest? No, it's not that chest. Where is it? Is it in this thing? Well, this it can't be in here because there's nothing right here. Where is it? There's supposed to be a chest somewhere, but I can't find it. Okay, maybe it's like actually underneath the thing. Is it under here somewhere? <gasps> oh, oh, clue two, the North Star shines bright at night. F, okay, so that is our first letter is F. We gotta find the rest of them and I also gotta patch up this place. Okay, and for the North Star Shines at Night, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be over here. Because while I was flying black, I saw just a floating glowstone right here. The North Star Shines at Night. So, is it supposed to be nighttime? Or is it, this is literally just it? Clue 3. Smallest pole in the Black Abyss. Ah, uh, hmm. Alright, what's, what's our letter, though? E, so F-E, so this is north, right? Yes, this is north. Okay, so this, this one's done, so smallest pole in the black abyss. Well, that could be like the end, I guess, since that's like the only black abyss. Alright, let's go to the end and look. Okay. Here we are at the end. Oh. 
it appears that our Enderman farm has been found and someone has made a bridge to it. Maybe this is the black pole. I mean, this is kind of... It's at a small pole in the black abyss, and there's nothing really here, but now our Enderman farm's exposed, so... You know what? It's... It's whatever. I tried to advertise it. People don't like advertisements. Is it on top of the Enderman farm? No. Okay. Black pole. Small pole in the black abyss. Let me just, like, do a quick circle of the end island. Okay, it's not on the outer end islands. Or at least, like, not just on the immediate outer end. Small pole in the black abyss. Well, this is... This is the only black abyss in the game. Where else would be a black abyss? Maybe it'd be through there? Is there any... Any small poles in this abyss? They wouldn't place it too far, would they? It'd be like relatively close. I don't think it's here. Where else is a black abyss? Yeah, smallest pole in the black abyss. Where else is there a black abyss other than the end? I guess the deep dark could be one, but like there's nothing that points me directly to that. Where else would it be if it's not the end? Maybe it's like down here, since there's like a floating dirt block. Maybe it's like a little hint saying, oh, black abyss. But this isn't, this is just dark. This isn't black. Where's a black abyss? Oh, here's some black abyss. No, it's not. There's not down here, but just skulk. Okay, I'm, mess I'm messaging Raspberry again. I cannot figure this out. If it's not in the end, I don't know where it is. Okay, Raspberry's told me that they think it's in the end. But they cannot remember, so we're going back to the end, and we're going to look around and everywhere it could be. But I, I searched that place up and down. I couldn't find anything. Where would it be if it's not, like, at the Enderman Farm or just in immediate range? Maybe it's under the island. Oh, actually, hold up. Is it under the island? Like, maybe in the center of all these pillars? No, it's not. Okay. Okay. So, since I've got an absolutely puny brain, I've asked Raspberry just to tell me what it is. And he said it's inside the smallest end pillar. And we've got three candidates for that. We've got this guy, this guy, and this guy. And I'm thinking it's this guy because he's the shortest overall and the smallest in width. So, it's either going to be at the very top or right here. <gasps> Look at that. Totally didn't need help, and I totally found this on my own. What's our next letter? M. F-E-M. Fem. Oh, it's going to be like feminist or something. North from the mill, a snowy top house basement. Okay, I know what that is. That's like Raspberry's house. Snowy top house basement. That's going to be their house. Okay, so here's Raspberry's kind of area, right next to Bean Can, all them. So, basement of house. So, this has a basement. Oh, whoa. Oh, is this it? Oh, this is it! Nice. Okay, a castle fit for a fishy queen. There's no castles on the server. But what's A? F-E-M-A. It's feminist, I swear it's gonna be feminist. There's no castles on the server. For a, f a castle fit for a fishy queen. Well, I know that they've got a fish in here. Yeah, there's a fish, but there's no... There's no clue anywhere. A castle fit for a fishy queen. Maybe over at Bean's base? Bean has got, like, a castle-looking thing. Maybe it's over there. Yeah, look, here's, like, a kind of castle-looking thing, and it's in the water, so I guess... Fishy Queen could do. Is it in here? <gasps> it is! Yes! Clue 6. Uh. Oh, come on. I don't want to do math. No, no, no. Don't make me do math, please. They're coordinates. Alright. L. F E M A L. 
It's it it's it's feminist. I'm positive it is. Ah oh, no, I'm not doing math. I refuse. To, I I kind of have to though. Okay, you know what? Online calculators. I'm not doing this in normally. I'm using an online calculator. Okay, so the first one is 24. Second one is six, so it's 24 six, which is going to be very far this way. Okay, so it's somewhere down here. Oh, is it that it right there? I think this might be it. Messages are the words to Raspberry to win. Oh, I win. What is it? E. So it's female. Okay, it's not feminist. It's female. All right, we win. All right, let me tell Raspberry to get on, and I'll let them know we won. Okay, well, I figured out your dumb riddles that I couldn't figure out for the life of did me. He, did he? Yeah, you uh -huh. want to know, know what the word was? I do. I... It was female. That's pretty crazy. Uh, you, you win. You've won. What do I win? Congratulations. You win this block of stone. Ooh. I, I win a block of stone. Isn't that exciting? Look, you can even have another one. Yeah, it's not like I, I made a farm for this like a week ago. Well, you can never have too much stone. That's that's like my motto. So. Yeah. Okay, well, I totally beat it and I totally did not need your help. I totally because didn't. That, it, uh, of course, of course. Uh, how many times did you ask for my help? Like none, none. Uh, like like three. No, I did three, it all. Okay. I did it all by myself. <laughs> of course, of course. So apparently, my my prize for winning was two bits of stone. So, like, I guess I should probably treasure these. But like. Bruh. And I also had help most of the time. I needed help. So you know what? This is my prize and I'm happy with it. So I will cherish these. Where's my anvil? Prized stones. These are my two prized stones. I will put them in here. These are my prized stones that Raspberry gave me. Alright, well now we can go ahead and start making our mega base. Which means we're probably going to go need to go get more shulkers because we only have one and we need to transfer quite a bit of these so before we do that i'm going to head to the end quickly i'm not going to bother recording any of it because like I, I don't want to i just don't feel like it so i'm going to go grab some shulker boxes probably like up to three or four of them come back might have some more elytras i'm not sure we can sell them later but quick little time jump wow look at that i totally look at that Wow, amazing. Four shulker boxes for us. Went to the end, got them. Easy peasy. And our iron farm is also broken, it seems. Because the golems keep landing outside of where they are supposed to die. So I've just got to come up here and give them a quick little nudge. There he goes. Good job. So we've got our four shulker boxes plus the one up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly empty out these chests. So probably just these two because that's all that will fit. And then we're going to go find a spot to build i have a spot in mind i just haven't completely planned out the entire area yet okay there's our shulker boxes filled we grab them it's also raining right now and about to turn night so i'm gonna go sleep quickly and then we're gonna go find a nice area to build okay so using bean's map because he's got the uh the whatchamacallit the one mod where it's like there's a map in this top corner and it shows everything he's explored this entire ocean and i've determined that this island is the best spot to start building so we also have a few like just random things there's like a what's it called an ocean monument yeah we've got an ocean monument right there and a sea temple right here is there anything in here no people have already been here all right so there's nothing really around us other than the ocean monument which is kind of nice because we can go get sponge from that later and create a guardian farm but we're going to, this island here is going to be the basis of where we are going to build. So I'm going to, we're going to go into a time lapse and this is probably going to be very long. Because, I mean, this is going to be a big base. I think 
we're just we're gonna do all rings. So let me let me quickly explain before we get into our time lapse. Let me quickly explain. I gotta get rid of this though. So our mega base is gonna be something like this. So we're gonna have a center ring, a center circle right here that is like the big boy. This guy is going to be very big. We're going to have our house and whatnot, like all the stuff and whatnot in here. And then there's going to be eight smaller spheres or rings around it, each one complete with farms. Like this will be the center one right here. And each one of these is going to be a different farm category of stuff like villagers, food, mobs, resources, a couple other things. I don't know. But we are going to go into a time lapse right now where I'm going to start building up these things. This time lapse is probably going to be long, so I apologize. But let's go. Okay, time lapse done. This took me around 20 minutes to do, and I know I said I was going to do all of the orbs or outlines, but that's not happening for a little while. Let's let's focus on this just one, and we will slowly build out the orbs. We know what we want to do. We have our little our little thing down there that tells us. So the reason that this is so high is because this is going to be a giant sphere. And I do not know exactly what I'm going to put in here. Maybe like a mega mansion. Because, I mean, this is a huge space. This space isn't supposed to be used for farms. This is used for just like my own living space and whatnot. We're going to have all the farms and whatnot and all the other circles. So probably in here will just be a big mansion. Because, I mean, this is going to be a huge orb. Because it's going to go all the way down there and come all the way back up. But, we have got to do some some more progress on this. We've got to finish up making the orb, but we will do that later in the episode. So, for right now, we are going to go make a moss farm. And you might be asking yourself, wait, Gussie, why do you need a moss farm? You've, you've never used moss. Well, moss is good for two reasons. One... Bean can't needs it because she is making the nether hub and she doesn't know how to make one. So we're going to make one for her so she can have moss. And it's really good for bone meal. So we're going to go make ourselves a moss farm for bean can't, get some bone meal, and then we'll come back and finish the outline of this. Now, the main components of a moss farm is you need bone meal to fuel it, which is good for us because with our regular farms, we already have a somewhat source of bone meal because I put all the extra wheat seeds into here. So we got our wheat and stuff, so we can put plants in there, and we got tons of extra carrots and potatoes and wheat, so we can also put that in there to get bone meal. And it's another cobblestone or stone maker, like this one. So we've got this one where we get all our cobblestone and stone, and we're making a second one for the moss farm. And I think we're going to put it right here, just in this little area. It'll be kind of packed between here and here, but then we can also kind of make paths and just put more farms down here later. Because I do want to put a sugarcane farm down here so that I can make more fireworks. Because I'm running a little low and I'm getting tired of going back to Bean's base to get some. Okay, so I now have all of the materials that I'm going to need. I literally just took this straight from Shulkercraft. This took me about like an hour to get, especially the freaking sticky pistons. Those were annoying. But we have them. Why do I have this pickaxe? I don't know. But we now have all of our things. So we're going to come down here. We're not going to do a time lapse for this or a time jump. What on earth? I thought, so the reason there's glass here is because I was trying to spawn proof this area so our golems would stop spawning, but apparently I need to do the entire mountain. 
because it slows down the rates of this farm. So hopefully he will just wander away and then it'll spawn another one. But we're going to make it right around here in this kind of general area. Maybe like right there is where the collection system will be or right here. Depending on the way the farm looks. Now so far what I've made is I'm guessing what's going to be supplying all the stones. So we've got our stone thing here. Our pistons I'm going to guess is going to push the stone that our lava and water are creating. And then the furnaces stop it from being pushed. Now, I don't know how redstone works, so I have no idea, whoops, I have no idea how, because I made this in my hardcore world, this exact thing, I don't know how on earth this repeater somehow gets to that one, because there's a block block in the way, I thought you'd have to have, like, redstone in between, but apparently not, so I'm just, I'm a confused boy, I'm more into building than I am to redstone, I love redstone, it's very helpful, but I don't get it at all. Okay, so I think I'm done with most of the redstone part. I still have... Oh, never mind, I'm not. I've still got quite a bit of redstone junk that I don't know what to do with. But, uh, according to the video, I flick this lever. That turns it on. Oh, and then look. So it's like kind of... You see how it's kind of like flashing? So that'll be like every bone meal, I guess. And this one isn't moving, so I don't know what that guy's supposed to do. Or what this guy's supposed to do. But that's the on button. I can just switch it off and then it just it just turns off. I'm learning. Okay, so now I have made the um the kind of system that it's gonna activate. So whenever this thing activates, I'm still not sure if this is linked up or not. It might be. Oh, I am stuck. Hold up. So whenever this activates, this will turn on that redstone torch will turn it off, and then this will flip these trap doors open, there's water behind these, and it'll push all the moss into chests, and then we are making the system to dispense, uh, whatchamacalls it, bone meal, so that the moss spreads. Now, I'm supposed to make a hole that is four blocks deep, but I actually have to properly make a hole since this is just covered up over a ravine. Okay, so I've now made the collection system. And so it will be pushed, the water will break, all the moss will come here, it'll flow down into these hoppers. And right now it is on bone meal mode. If you want to like get rid of the this, you just you just get rid of the composters. So that way it's just moss, which we will do eventually, but for right now we do need the bone meal so it can power itself, because we do not have a lot sin over here in this chest. Just exactly one stack. We don't have a lot. So one stack we'll use to get started, and then we'll get stacks and stacks of bone meal from this. And right now I'm just making the um, thing, and Bean is here looking at my amazing creation. Okay, so I believe the farm is done. The one, I do have one complaint, which is that this redstone is really long, and I will probably end up putting this underground later. But for right now, you just, you flick the lever, that turns this thing on. Is this even working? Did I do something wrong? This isn't even turning on. Okay, so I had to replace um, this redstone block right here. It wasn't a block, it was a dust. I had to replace this with a repeater because for some reason the dust wasn't working. So if you make this farm, I would recommend changing this to a repeater because I don't know how to fix it and I'm a dummy and that's just how I know how to fix it. But it looks like it's working. The only thing, I do have some spare glass and redstone which is making me a little worried. But you know what is fine. So we're going to grab our bone meal and we just plop on over here and place it in. Oh my goodness, this is so loud. Place it in here. Uh, these trapdoors are supposed to stay shut for longer. What have I done wrong again? Okay, so it should be fixed now. Thank you to Janix on YouTube for helping me with this. I had no idea what I was doing. I had to replace a lot of stuff and go get more blocks. But hopefully, now it will work. So if I flick this, is it going to work? Is the water going to actually go away? <gasps> I think it's working. Look at that. We've got moss coming in. Look at that. We've got moss. Is it working? I can't tell. Uh, is that going up? Is it going up? I can't tell. 
Okay. Now this is fixed as well, and I'm running away because I don't want to be around those. So that took me forever to fix as well. For some reason, it wasn't shooting up the bone meal, and what you just had to do is just add two little things. But it looks like we are now collecting bone meal and shooting up some. Yeah. So it shoots up, comes up here, and then ends up in this dispenser. And look, it is going to go up, right? Yeah, there it goes. So it is going up. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit, and then we will get back to our mega base. Alrighty, so I've let this run for a few hours. I've got my composters on here. I've switched it out. Whoops, hold up. I've switched it out so that it is all the moss is coming here. Bean Cat has come and taken this. We're going to go look at the nether hub here in a second. But I've also switched this lever right here so that way this isn't as annoying that it's all the way over there. And this has worked pretty well, other than, for some reason, cobblestone keeps coming out and I have to keep fixing it, but it's it supplies itself with bone meal whenever I fix it. It's been working well, so now we're going to go look at the nether hub, and then we'll get working on our mega base again. Okay, it looks like Bean Cat has done quite a bit of work. This nether hub is really, really coming together. We've got the deep slate kind of pattern with the moss uh, over at Bean Cat's area like way right over here there is the glow berry so the rest of the base is gonna have that but it looks like this looks really good i'm really happy with this once the glow berries get in it'll look a lot nicer and it's much nicer than just like the red ugliness so we're gonna head over to our mega base now and hop into we're not actually gonna hop into time lapse i'm gonna build out the little bridges that are gonna go to the other spheres and then we're gonna hop into time lapse now what I'm thinking what I do for the bridges like so we have our, our little example down there where we have our eight separate uh, orbs is I'm going to make it 30 blocks out and then we make the orbs just on each side. So we've got like one there, one there, one there, and then one on each corner. So I'm going to look and see, I'm going to build this and see how it looks and then if it looks good then we'll do it for the rest. Okay, you know what, I actually think that's a relatively good distance because it's not too far away from this. It's still pretty close and considering the orb is going to be pretty big. I think this is good. Like, I think this is a good distance, so it'll be a little difficult to do 30 on those sides. I think it'll have to be, like, 60 since they kind of go, like, diagonally and stuff. But let's do those real quick, and then we can hop into our time lapse. Yeah, I think I like that. This one's a little longer than this one is. That's just because it's, like, diagonally. It's weird. So this one's actually 60 blocks. Well, that one's 40. Not 40. This one's 30. This one's 60, even though it doesn't look much longer. It is technically a little bit, and it used a little more blocks just because of that. So we're going to repeat this on all sides. Alrighty, now I have all of the little bridges that are going to go to the other spheres built. And this time lapse isn't going to be like my normal time lapses. The camera is going to be stationary, otherwise it won't be able to capture everything because uh, my render distance won't be high enough. Because if I come way over here, like... That part of the sphere is out of render distance, which means if I'm building this and I immediately go over to that, you won't be able to see and the camera won't be able to keep up. So it's going to be just stationary me building the spheres. But let's go. Alrighty, so we are back now. Uh, that time lapse was is not as long as I was hoping it would be. I only had the first two circles because everything else was the exact same, and that is boring to watch. No one wants to see that. So we are now done with the outline of our mega base, and I'm very happy with it. Other than 
I don't know how I'm going to make the thumbnail for this video because if I'm right in the center, I can only see like halfway to all the circles, which makes it very difficult to make a thumbnail because I want to get all the circles. So I'm going to figure out a solution for that. And But I am satisfied with this. So each one of these circles is going to be like a different section of farm, like way over here. Is this the right one? No, no, no. It's it's one of these outer ones. Which one is it? Is it this one? Nope. It's this one. This circle right here, we have a guardian uh, temple, an ocean monument. So right on this circle, we're going to have a guardian farm underneath it so that we can get prismarine and whatnot. And we'll just fill up all these circles. But I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Sorry that this is a week late. It's just this took me like literally five days to do. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.